additional stops in Sheboygan and one in Whitefish Bay. And at that stop in Whitefish Bay, they had a chance to fire up volunteers to continue their work all the way through the election. Fox 6's Brandon Cruz has more on that effort from the Romney and Obama campaigns. The momentum is absolutely building, and it's, it's going to be a crescendo on Tuesday. Mitt Romney's son Matt spends Sunday thanking volunteers like these at a Romney Victory Center in Whitefish Bay. The feeling we get is one of um, inspiration. It really is. It's, we are so humbled by what you guys are doing. Matt, his brother Josh, Senator Ron Johnson, and Governor Scott Walker fire up supporters and ask for a little bit more. There's still time to make more calls. There's still times to fill up the sheets. There's calls. There's phones to be available out there. I need us making calls all the way up until 8 o'clock Tuesday night. All right. The energy is also growing for the Obama campaign volunteers at an Obama for America office on the east side. There's a lot of enthusiasm, of course, as we get closer to Election Day, and you can feel it in all of these volunteers. You know, tell people about that. Volunteers like Tara, who drove up from Chicago on Sunday, spend the day knocking on doors and talking with voters. We can count on your vote on November 6th. You can. Talk to people that you know who may not have already voted. You know, make sure that they get out and vote. And really just get the word out that everybody's vote is important. And as the race comes to an end, both sides feel one vote could be the difference. So we can definitely count on your support. It's a matter of really trying to squeeze that last one or two percent out. So, yep, there's an urgency. I don't think any of us want to wake up Wednesday morning and think, Oof, what if we just made a few more calls? What if we just knocked on a few more doors but we could have won? And Obama volunteers are urging their supporters to make a plan to ensure that they can vote on Tuesday. The Romney supporters are asking their volunteers to reach out and talk to all the voters leading up through Tuesday. Reporting live in Whitefish Bay, Brandon Cruz, Fox 6 News. All right, Brandon, thank you. There will be a new U.S. senator from the Dairy State. The question is, will that seat that's long been Democratic stay that way? Or will Wisconsin soon have two Republican senators? Jeremy Ross has more on those candidates' final push.